approached was very different this time. 3D printing has been used in fashion for years. This time, it's a different approach because the printing is going on the surface of the fabric. What we want to do in this project is allow the textile to carry the 3D print like a fish would carry its scales on its skin. Pro Morpho collection is talking about color and morphology. How does color change through movement? We started to research different butterflies. We were fascinated with the iridescent touch of the patterns and geometry of the butterflies. How do animals and insects in nature use their skin and use their movement in order to generate color? When you zoom into these insects and animals, you discover they don't use pigment, they use a microscopic structure. Nature has a morphology solution to generate the color. Stratasys was really interested in exploring the idea of a lenticular lens. It's a small, a plastic, translucent dome that bounces light through the lens in a way that if you look from one angle, you see a certain color, and if you look from a different angle, you see a different color. In this case, since we're printing in this cellular method on a fabric, we're able to, to print a lenticular lens as a whole collection of little islands, of little pieces on a piece of fabric, so it's fully articulated and flexible. Each of these prints has thousands of little cells. The overall garment is made of 100 to 200,000 lenses on it. The, the way that it is put together is completely traditional, with a sewing machine and with binding and with a zipper in the back. It's like a puzzle. You have to put all the pieces together. But the textile itself is completely new. We truly believe that integrating 3D printing even in very thin and, and fine layers with the textile, we're able to have solutions that are very appealing for the fashion world. This dress represents to me the perfect balance between craft and technology. The idea of using this new technique that Stratasys is offering, where you can see a transformation. There's something very magical and very special about this. The Chromorpho collection continues to evolve. There's another dress that we're going to show at the Philadelphia Art Museum. This is a collaboration with Julia Kerner, another version of our game with butterflies and insects. Next year, we will launch two other evening dresses with Zaha Khalid Architects and with Neri Oxman. And more other designers will join a creatives that work with us on this table. Thank you.